Um, awesome. If we have any guests who want to speak now, um, you may speak unless, uh, Beth, we can hold off on you until we get to um, concert on the comments. But if any other guests have anything to say, <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, announcements. Um, let's see. So, so far, all of the grantees are doing pretty good. Um, they're all taking advantage of their um, their extensions. Um, a lot of them are taking advantage of their extensions and waiting to put in modification requests until they have a more solid idea of, of what they would like to do. Um, but yeah, so, so far from what I'm hearing from them, so far so good. Uh, no, no real uh, concerns regarding uh, grantees or, or funding yet. Um, we will have to, there is a woman, Eva Kelly with the uh, Fitchburg um, Public Schools who, uh, who expressed interest in, um, in uh, encumbering their funds. So once they, once they're ready with all of that, we'll, we'll take a vote on, on encumbering their funds until for, uh, for next year. But other than that, no, nothing. Leo, really. if, I, if I could mention a couple of things. Um, yes. We will be required to submit a annual report in September. At that time, in terms of our activity, financial activity over the past year. At that time, the uh, state council asked us what amount of money needs to be encumbered rolling over into the next fiscal year. So um, while that fund is there, funds are there, it won't be there after um, a certain point into the fall. So we can, it's not a problem, but we would need to know which grantees and the amounts that they want to encumber to roll over to the next fiscal year within the next month or so. Okay. So, so I think yeah. in our August meeting, we need to have some information in terms of, um, because I think the deadline is like October 1st for our annual report to be submitted to the state. Cool. Yeah, I um, I let her know that she needs to um, give us more details um, basically and, and like make a, like a formal request. Um, right. So hopefully we'll get that soon from her and we can take care of that in August. Because we have, we still have 13 grantees that have not submitted request funds, and that amounts to almost eleven thousand dollars. So oh, it's geez. a sizable amount of money. All but, right. But we can't encumber. But we need to know uh, which grantees plan on using that money, um, so we can save it. Um, all right. I'll keep on. I'll keep on hunting those guys then. Um, awesome. And then, all right. I have the meetings from last. Uh, meeting here. I'm going to screen share real quick with you guys. Do, 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 do. Cool. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yep. Leah, would you mind emailing those to me? Got it. Thanks. That was Casey, right? Yeah. All right. Sorry, yeah. And then whenever anybody's ready to um, accept these minutes, we can move on. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Awesome. 
so that we can move on from that. Um, oh, treasurer's report. Um, it, it hasn't been any uh, changes since our uh, June uh, report. There hasn't been any activity. No one has submitted any requests for funds. We still remain with our local funds. Uh, the same, our uh, council funds are $13,123. As I said, 11,000 of that is for the 13 grantees, uh, which gives us a balance of uh, $2,146. If I could also ask Audrey um, a specific question regarding the grant that you had submitted a year ago that we encumbered the funds, that's part of that balance. Um, and we would need to know whether you're moving forward and I don't know whether we can encumber the funds for a second year because we did do that for this year. I did request the funds and I, I received them. I just haven't sent in any receipts yet. Is that oh, what you, you have? You did receive, I uh, wasn't sure you did. You did receive the money. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to switch this order around really quick. Um, so I say we take care of uh, the concert on the commons first, and then that way Beth um, can go. And then afterwards, we can talk uh, about the rest of council matters, if um, that's all right with all of you. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, yeah, so um, here, let me stop sharing this. So yeah, Beth, can you fill us in on the developments of concert on the commons? So um, we had to go back and forth according to Governor Baker's uh, safety protocol um, as to whether or not we'd even be able to have the concerts. Of course, everybody's been going through this kind of the same thing. Um, but with the recent, um, you know, the, the new safety protocol with the minimum, uh, the maximum of 100 people being able to gather in one place, um, it allowed us to be able to stay true to the upper common, which we were very excited about because that's the tradition. Um, so we will still be hosting it on the upper common as the application originally stated. Uh, the only difference is, is the, you know, the safety protocols will be in place in terms of we're going to be spray painting um, areas six feet apart. Uh, with a maximum of five per space. Uh, they need to be 10 feet away from the actual stage. Uh, so they'll start there and they'll move back. Um, we don't even think we're gonna have to use the other side of the gazebo. Uh, so everybody will have a view of the band. Um, with the calculations we made, we'll be able to have a max of 92. And I, I think it was, um, actually I think it was 95 because it's a uh, uh, five person maximum per each space. So we'll be able to have 95 uh, people, which will be under the max. And, um, you know, we usually have give or take, depending on the week, sometimes there's 150 people, sometimes there's 75. Um, but we are still moving forward. The only other difference is we were supposed to start, obviously, a lot sooner than now. Our first concert on the common was supposed to be July 1st. Now it's going to be July 29th. Um, but we're still going to have all the concerts that were originally planned. Um, the lineup pretty much stayed the same. The only difference being is we had one cancellation. Um, so now it's down to, to eight concerts. We may put one on the end. Um, but as you know, if we get rain outs, they go on the end anyway. So there's no definitive end date right now based on that. Because um, you never know if we're going to have a rainy day. And Wednesday seemed to be prolifically rainy. <laughs> more than any other day. We even had one of the one of our regular patrons suggest that we do it on a Thursday or a Tuesday instead. <laughs> you know, as if there's some kind of geological weather pattern that we're cursed with. But um, if all goes well we'll be we'll be done. I think the last date is the twenty sixth of December. So uh, barring uh, barring those things, the uh, original application is the same. Great. So we were we were fortunate to be able to do that. We didn't know if things were gonna uh, ease up but they seem to be uh, all in place, and uh, the first one's tomorrow night, 6.30, so if anybody wants to check it out, it's a night of Zeppelin, so you have to be a Zeppelin fan, but if you are, uh, it's a really great show, so we hope to see you there. But uh, Hi. unless you have any questions, that's pretty much anything, that, anything that's been changed is, is that. Yeah, Beth, again, Jim Craig and the uh, treasurer, um, I would suggest that you go ahead and also submit your request to the funds now. Um, the money is there. 
um, and you know, just send it over to uh, Joan David for uh, processing, and we can get you that those funds. Okay, is that a separate process um, from one of our? No, it's the one you. No, it's the same you used in the past. Same just as last do it again year. With the modification right. Slate. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, anybody else? Any any questions or any comments? I mean, it seems to me like everything is is back to the same old plan. So I don't know if a modification is needed, but right. Um, Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, yeah, probably not because the layout really wasn't part of the, the original ap application to begin with, so nothing would really change in the application, I don't think, except for the date, so the start and the end. I bet this would probably be the only thing to change. Right. Yeah. So other. Um, I'll also send you an updated schedule, too, of the um, of that. So, if, if, you know, please, if anybody wants to share that, if you know any, um, you know, I guess we're going to be having a lot of new audiences this, this year because uh, the public school system, a lot of the teachers are, you know, wanting to engage, um, you know, their kids, whether they have summer programs going on or whatever. So we'll have a lot of young and a lot more young kids there and stuff. But please feel free to pass it along. And I think it's a really uh, poignant time right now to be restoring and going through with the traditional uh, Fitchburg, uh, you know, music series. I think it's going to, you know, create that sense of community that I think Fitchburg and the local area has been missing. Um, but the more the merrier, you know, we'll have to cut off at a max, but, um, you know, we can also regulate what's going on across the street. That's not upper common stuff. So if people want to gather over there, we're not quite sure what the protocol is there, but as I said, feel free to share. Beth, please, uh, please share the events on the Fitchburg Cultural Council group. Um, we'll try our best to um, promote it as well, but um, yeah. Okay, thank you. I will do that. Cool. Um, if nobody else has any questions, then I guess uh, I put a motion to just dismiss the modification request and just let things uh, and just continue as normal. Second. Awesome. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. Great. All right. Thank you all for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck. Right. Thank Great. you for joining Thank us. Bye. Bye. All righty. Um, so we need a new secretary. Um, and before, but before we go on to that, I just wanted to bring up two things. Um, we need to transfer the, the billing from Tamar for the Fitchburg Open Studios to uh, our accounts, to the Cultural Council accounts, um, which is, we already voted on it when we voted to accept the Open Studios. So now we just have to figure out how to do the, how to actually take it over. Um, so, Jim, do you know, would that just be a matter of talking to uh, the city about that, or? Yeah, I'd have to speak to Calvin Brooks, the city auditor. Cool, all right. How to do that. All right, is that something you, you, can, you can take care of? Pardon me? Is that something, yeah, that's some, is that something you can take care of? Yeah, I'll look cool. into it. Awesome, all right. And then the other topic was um, FATV radio and appearances. Um, I, I have never appeared on FATV or on local radio, um, but if you guys, if any of you guys have and would like to appear, um, that would be great. Uh, my biggest thing with appearances would be, I don't, I don't know when these shows typically are, so if it's during the day, I kind of can't go to them. Um, but I do encourage anybody who wants to to go. And if anything, we can also buddy up and go as teams <laughs> together. <laughs> um, but just something to put out there. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on, on TV or radio appearances or would like to, or have any special interest in, in, in making appearances. 
I've, I've done both the radio and FATV for FAM, and I did go with Joe last year on Sam Squalia's show, so I'm happy to do that. I'm, we did it about the grant cycle process. I don't know if there's anything in particular you want promoted, but um, I, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm at ease doing that. But it is fun when you have, it's easier when you have somebody to do it with you, because you, then you're having a conversation and less of a monologue, so. Cool. Do we know? If, oh. Sorry. I I was Tamar was say, um, I'd be happy to go as well. Um, I think it's kind of a cool local way to promote the council. And especially as we're about to jump into another grant cycle soon, I think it also might be a good way to spread the word. And it's something good that we could share on our social media as well that we're participating in local media. And it's a lot of just really quickly, um, I jumped in on the um, round table that the council had Monday. There were like people from different parts of the state and most of them are from smaller communities and they don't have things like TV and radio in their communities. So I thought we kind of are fortunate that we have them right in Fitchburg. So I'd be happy to participate and I thought it was a great way to get the word out a little bit more with the grant cycle starting. Easy. Sorry, uh, my question was, uh, do we know which shows specifically on FATV are still rolling? Are they still taking uh, interviews? Yeah, Barbara and you is still on. Okay. And I think Sam still has her show. Okay, so that shouldn't be a block. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because Sam just was doing her show as recently as, um, when Fitchburg was having the, the, the BLM march and even afterwards. Um, so th that was like less than a month ago or something. There's a website. You your cheap episodes too. Yeah. Right. And you can go on her website and she'll have the calendar of episode when she's taping. Um, and then there's also um, Travis on WPKZ. He he's really he's a great interviewer and yeah. he he's very well informed. So that's a good outlet too. Cool. You still haven't started planning for the uh, public input sub like no. meeting. Yeah, we definitely need to. That's one thing we need to jump onto and take care of. Yeah, that's my that's my fault. I um. I slacked on that. Okay. Um, but I'm guessing that's something that would be discussed on the yeah. shows. Yeah, I definitely, that was when, yeah, Jesse, you mentioned Grand Cycle, and, and I, I think that going on there and talking, not just the Grand Cycle, but public input and creative meet and greet uh, would both be um, excellent topics of discussion to have on, on radio and TV. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to write my, my own name down, too, as being interested yeah. in being on TV. Um, cool. And the hosts are very, very friendly. So you do feel like you're just talking to people. It's not, it's not, it's not hard. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm usually apprehensive before I go on. And then once there's the cameras rolling, it's like, I don't know. It's You'll be great, over. Leo. <laughs> Especially since everything's happening over Zoom, it'll be just like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You know what? Yeah, throw my name on the list too then. Cool. This, this is the show. It's already on. <laughs> You're already on FATV because they're probably airing these meetings. That's true. We are. We're all experienced. Awesome. Um, all right. And I guess that's that. And now, all right, uh, council positions. So we need a secretary. Um, is, is, does anybody want to volunteer to be the secretary, the next secretary? <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about the role? So, secretary role. Um, I just want to uh, comment that Emanuela, um, uh, yeah. wrote in the chat saying that she's here if anyone is up to help if anyone is interested. I just saw that too. Um, Can we have her come on as a guest to explain yeah, I'm gonna, what she I'm does? Yeah, I'm going to unmute her. Uh, ask to unmute. 
Hi, everyone. How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me turn on my camera so you can all see each other. See your face. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so um, I have a list of kind of the, like the role and responsibilities of the secretary if you um, if you'll let me share my screen, Leandro, that might be helpful. Um, uh, I got to figure out how to do this. I know that there's a way I have to make you host. Where are you? I think if you click the three dots um, next to my name. Um, if not, it's fine. I can share the document with you guys later and just kind of talk through the points briefly, if that works for you guys. You could send it to Leo and then he could share it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, just kind of basically, you know, recording the, the meeting minutes and kind of keeping track of that, keeping track of um, membership and the Mass Cultural Council, like portal makes it really easy to do that. Um, <clears throat> you know, drafting the letters for, um, you know, the approval and the denial letters and a lot of this stuff, um, there's kind of like templates for all of this. So it's not, you know, all that difficult. And, um, you know, working with other people certainly makes things easier. Um, things tend to get a little bit busier, a lot busier around um, the grant cycle, uh, particularly keeping track of like everything that we're voting on. Um, but you know, having more than one person doing that at the same time makes it easier and you're able to check your numbers and make sure everything's all right. Um, and you know, occasionally we're um, corresponding with grantees as they have questions. Um, I know I did a little bit more since I was on some of the other committees and, and such, um, but that's kind of the gist of it. And you know, you guys have my, my phone number, my email, you know how to reach me if you have any questions. And um, I will say Veronica, um, who is our regional uh, program manager, is really responsive and really helpful if you have, should you have any questions. Um, so yeah. Manuel, if you still want to share, um, FATV said that you should be able to do that now. Okay, just give me a Ooh, sec. So let me pull that up. Share screen. So this is pretty much it. Yeah. Some of the stuff about making sure that the agenda is posted, everything is um, sometimes, well, Leo usually takes care of that since he's writing the agenda. So, you know, there yeah. are things we can kind of split up. I know between like uh, you and I, when there are kind of a lot of tasks to manage, sometimes we would split that up. Um, but again, you know, kind of those expectations are something you can figure out between yourself and Landry and Jim, or should you um, elect a coach here too? That's, you know. Yeah. That's something you, um, you know, if, if anybody decides that they, they want to become the secretary or they volunteer for a secretary role, um, you know, uh, the responsibilities we can always, as long as we keep in contact and, and, and there's somebody to, there to do the assigned task at the right time, you know, that, I think that that's, that's okay. Um, yeah, particularly, it sounds like you guys are taking on, you know, new projects, so. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? You're not interested in yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can take care of it. We can uh, vote on it uh, next uh, next uh, meeting. But another, um, uh, I guess, role too that I wanted to bring up was um, because Emanuela was the treasurer and she was also basically the person, not the treasurer, the secretary, and also basically the person um, running the social media subcommittee um, if there's somebody who would want to now focus on the social media social media subcommittee, um, I think that that would also be very useful, a very useful person to have.
<laughs> yes, Tamar? I feel like I should offer to help on that one. Um, so if you want me to, I will. <laughs> All right. Uh, motion to... <laughs> <laughs> As the social media subcommittee coordinator, I second. <laughs> That's okay with Tamar. <laughs> All in favor? Hi. 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 Yeah. My pen died. I can't write that down. Oh, well. Cool. I got it. Um, all right, and it seems like nobody is interested in the secretary role uh, as of now. Um, can you email us um, what Emanuela wrote and then maybe people can think about it? Or maybe yes. we can split up the roles, like someone will just volunteer to always do the meetings. Maybe they won't do the other parts or something like that if it just seems too overwhelming. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, Please, that's a great suggestion. It sounds like Emanuela does a lot, and I don't think it, everyone's a little bit daunted by it. Yeah, can you send that, can you send me that link, Emanuela? Because I found a document, and it's, it's not the right one. It's full of edits. Yeah, I'll share it with you. It's in the Google Drive. There's one that's a draft, and there's one that's finalized. And again, that's something you can review as a council you know, oh, yeah, here it is. what you want those responsibilities to entail. I know it seems quite daunting, um, but I promise you, I mean, there's some, you're all brilliant and talented. I'm, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. We appreciate you. <laughs> the shoes aren't that big. <laughs> and I'm still here, you know. Some... Um, all right. Well, that's the, uh, that's the last item on the agenda. Um, and then, yeah, we can leave, uh, we can push secretary till later. We can worry about that one later. Um, and unless anybody has anything else, we can, you know, somebody wants to make a motion to adjourn. Leo, can I make a request for discussion item at the next meeting? Could we potentially discuss past exploration of cultural district designation here in the city and talk a little bit about whether there's an interest on the council to pursue that going forward? Yes, I really like that topic. Um, question about the public input meeting. It's yeah. usually in August and it's the end of July. Right. Um, <laughs> well, that, that has to happen before grant season, right? Yes. And grant season usually starts in October, right? Yes. September, I thought. October 15th. Okay. So for that, we'll just make sure um, that we meet uh, sometime soon. The events, the events subcommittee meet sometime soon, um, and try to try to get something going with that. Um, well, now that I have you guys, actually, what what is uh, your? And this is only for events subcommittee people. Um, what's your availability look like? I guess. Uh, I don't know, in the next, maybe next week. I think I'm pretty available. Unavailable or, or available? Available. Available. Could we get a reminder of who's on the event subcommittee? Yep, let me, so it is Audrey, Tamar, Jesse, and I. The Tuesdays aren't really good for me. So no Tuesday. 
good thing we have cultural council on Tuesdays. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Does 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 afternoons work like five o'clock? Not on Tuesday. <laughs> not, not on Tuesday. Not on Tuesday. All right, Tamar. How's Monday? How's Monday? All right. How about this Monday five o'clock? All right. I'm gonna um, email Nate after this and make sure that Monday five o'clock works for Nate and. We can, we can do that. I'm just thinking in terms of choosing a date for the public input meeting, and if that needs to be, if that's something that needs to be discussed with the group and whole, like ever, like not just the subcommittee. Right. Well, we we'd have to, you know, come up with, have our meeting, come up with our decisions, whatever we want, um, and then I think we'd have to just bring it up to the rest of the group. Um, just have them review our minutes and kind of what we came up with and see if, if they approve it. Um, that's how I uh, imagine it going down. Um, uh, I meant the date for the event, like if we need to, you know, kind of decide on a date, like for everyone in the cultural council, not just the subcommittee to decide. Right. Maybe I, not. No, yeah, right. So, so I'm I'm assuming that the way that it, that it would go, right, is the four of us would would kind of decide on a, on a date, and then we would present the date to the, everyone else and see if everyone else is happy with that date. Does that sound? Yeah, I'm just thinking that if we have it like you know around the end of August, like we usually do, but our meeting's not until August, uh, like twentieth, a little bit, right, short. So we might not be able to do it then at the end of August. So um, our next culture, our, our next meeting would be on the 18th. Um, so then, I mean, we could have it the last week of August, uh, but that's, that's, yeah, if we aim for the last week of August, we'd have to present it on the 18th to the rest of the council for them to decide if they are okay with that. Can that's it be discussed over email? Or does it have to be over a video meeting? The, any, any, any decision we come to has to be over, has to be over, uh, has to be in a meeting over, uh, yeah, like this. But people can, can be aware of, people can be aware of what's going on and can be kept in the loop via email. But yeah, decisions would just have to be made uh, at a, in, a meet, in a formal meeting. But either way, there isn't so much we can do about it. Um, Unless we have like an emergency meeting that's like early or than our usual scheduled time. Right. right. Tamar? Are we envisioning that this public input would be in person or would it be via Zoom? I think Zoom, right? Um, you can't right. have, you're not allowed to have, if we, the number of people we have, you aren't allowed to have in-person events of that scale right now. Right. Yeah. And that's going to continue into the fall, probably. Um, probably for six months, at, if we're lucky. <laughs> I, I imagine a lot of these, I, same thing with the creative meet and greet. Um, a lot of these things are going to end up taking place via Zoom. Um, which will probably make things, logistical things, a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, uh, you know, buddy up next to each other anytime soon. It'll be more accessible that way, though. Yeah. But I, yes, Tamar? So I would kind of like to make a suggestion then that we maybe pick a couple dates today so that we have time for Nate to approve the dates. And then next week, we could discuss what happens on those dates or those okay. potential dates. I like that idea. Mm. I'm looking at the okay. last. Go on, Jesse. I was just going to say, I would just, <laughs> I'm biased, but I would also say advocate against Tuesdays because the <laughs> art steward, but the art stewards meet that night. And I think that's going to be a, a big pool of people who want to attend. 
So just, I would steer clear of that. Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe fr a, f a Friday might be nice. I'm, I'm like in pre pre COVID social brain where like doing things on Fridays is nice because it's Friday. Um, so maybe the, does August the 28th sound nice for, for public input? Is there a reason we can't do it in September? Start of the grant cycle, you usually want to do it beforehand. There is a chance though that the start of the grant cycle may be pushed back due to the state budget uh, thing. I'm, I'm sure the grant cycle is going better. to move forward. Okay, because I was looking at if we even just like move it to the first week in September, it'll give us a little more time for advertising purposes too. Okay, Mark. But then the first week in September is Labor Day week, so maybe like doing it on Patriots Day, the 11th might be better. And I would just want to say really quick that the, the input meeting that I was in with the council on Monday, um, Veronica did say that they're going to be rolling out some new things. And she didn't say when and she didn't say what, but it was in conjunction with um, the grant cycle. And there were a lot of questions about the grant. Actually, everyone, the grants, everyone from the other towns, mostly Western Mass, they're much smaller than we are. And they do, they, they all said, and they're Harvard also, Harvard Mass was part of the group. They said that they didn't like how tight the cycle was, that it was too tight. And I think at least three other councils said that. So it's kind of interesting. So Veronica said she would take in that feedback I think it was a feedback session that they want, they're making decisions about the fall. So, so I think it's going to, I think we'll probably have to wait a little bit, right? And just wait and see what they launch for the fall cycle. Okay. okay. And, and tight as in like the, the, the limit, the time frame to apply for the applications is too short? Like that it was too much work for the council within a window oh. of a couple months. Okay. That especially for these smaller councils, they said it was just too much too much work right so I thought that was kind of interesting and she and Veronica said that she'd heard that from other councils that didn't attend on Monday so mm -hmm. I don't know what that means but well so I'm thinking uh, maybe first choice could be the 28th second choice could be the 11th depending on how our conversation on Monday goes what do you think about like on the like August 27th, Thursday, just because like since Labor Day weekend, wait, Labor Day weekend is the first week of September, right? Or is it the following? No, it's the following. Never mind. I'm trying to say anything. So first date the 28th, second date the 11th? Yeah, how does that sound? Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And then, so the public input meeting is the important one. The creative input, creative meet and greet is important too, but uh, the public input one is the one where we get the information we're like on how to award grants. So I think that uh, on Monday, we should probably just explore ideas for the creative meet and greet since there's less pressure on that. Is the meet and greet supposed to be before the input meeting? Right, but the creative meet and greet was one that we had last year that we threw together. Like, it, it wasn't a, a mass cultural council requirement. It was more of um, an event that the cultural council put on, mostly for people so that people could network, but also so that we could get extra information specifically on what creatives in the area want, um, and, and less so on on like funding at large that we provide to other 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 groups. Because you know we provide funding for science and, and, and uh, science organizations and, and, and education and that sort of stuff. And the creative meet and greet was more like arts uh, focused, arts, performing, music, that kind of stuff. Um, and it was just like a thing that, that we decided to do that was uh, required. Should we choose a date for that then? Um, we can try if you, yeah, if you guys want. I was thinking that we can probably, the events subcommittee can probably try to handle that one since 
again, there's less pressure. But if you think that we should folk, we should try to pick a date now. Um, I mean, I if that doesn't require to require a uh, council decision, then yeah, we could just talk about during the um, subcommittee. But if we do need a big, large council decision, and it's supposed to happen before the input meeting. Well, it doesn't need to happen before. It will, it will, it will require a, a vote, but it won't require, it doesn't need to be before the public input one. It can just, we can, yes, Tamar? Just thinking since we just ballparked two dates, if one date is not the input, why don't we do the creative on the other? Thanks. Yeah. That's, I think that could work. It's awfully close together, two weeks apart, but. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then as we go, yeah, if we decide that the public input needs to be pushed back to the 11th, then I guess we can just decide it, we can push back the, the creative the creative one. But that sounds good to me. Yeah, let me write that down. Awesome. Grant season begins September 1st or September 15th? September 1st to the 15th of October. Okay. Right now there isn't a set date though with right. NCC. Well, that's everything. Um, to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Cool. And yeah, all those in favor, aye. 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 Take aye. care, everyone. Be safe. Thank you too, Jim. Good to see you all. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.